name is Andy Jackson and I'm a part of the Hope International Football Club. I am currently playing for the first division team and I am doing this because I'm trying to get a bit of exposure and an opportunity to play for a professional club or for a soccer scholarship. Well, I attended the St. Martin's Secondary School and it's actually a school that I really love because it was a, a school of discipline. And discipline is very important for me as a, a young man who have been grown up in, in an environment where most persons aren't as disciplined as we would say. But during my years in St. Martin's Secondary School, I, I got the opportunity to be a part of the soccer team. And from there, my love for football <coughs> increased. And from my love for football, I joined the Hope International Football Club where I train on the weekends, mostly sometimes on Saturdays during the week as well. And that is where my, my passion really got more and more and my love for football increased as well. My name is Akeem John and I'm an executive member and player of Hope International Football Club. Oh, I've known Andy now for, I would say, close to six, seven years. Andy has been playing with Hope now for just under a year. Um, before that, I know Andy as a, as a player, just around the Arnesville area, we play a lot of scrimmage um, games together. And I noted that he possessed certain qualities and certain skills, skill sets that I thought um, would be um, an asset to the club and that the club can work with him to further develop it. So we actually sought Andy out and invited him to come and train with our first division team. And he's been playing with us since then. I find him to be a very disciplined youngster, um, a very focused youngster and, and, and very driven. Um, it's unique in this particular day and age um, in St. Vincent where there's so many distractions for, for youngsters. So that is how Andy essentially became um, a member of our club. My name is Kenson Spadad. I am the coach of Hope International, Neman Hope International, well, Guardian Life Hope International. And um, so I see him as one of the leaders of the first division team, right? Um, so, yeah, so we, we have a good relationship. Um, I often tend to bounce ideas off of me, ask um, my opinion on his game, about his game, and so on. And he, he is definitely. Um, he has, he has definitely grown from, from his inception uh, to now. Okay, I'm currently playing in the midfield, and midfield is a very important role, as you know. Um, midfield requires fitness, it also requires speed and agility and control on the ball. And we know that in midfield, you are the person who is the engine of the team. And it's always, always a position where I really love, because I always like to be um, the person to help and to also assist and to talk the game as well. So midfield is one of my favorite positions currently for my club. He is a very tenacious player. Um, one of the things I would say with Andy is he is so anxious to get things right that he be, sometimes he may become frustrated because of that. But he has the ability and the capacity to take information in, to learn and to apply it. Um, in a very structured manner. All right. The reason why I love midfield because I am very good at my true balls and my passing ability as well. I am able to control the ball on my right foot, which is my strongest foot. Uh, my left foot is what we would say my weaker foot, but I also try my very best to use my left foot as much as possible. I also love to assist, so that is something that I am, I am good at as well. Weaknesses, I would say, shooting. Um, I think it's down to its technique. Uh, you need to work on its technique, and um, so his shooting is not is not where it should be. Um, even though he has the eye for the pass, actually completing the pass is, is something I, I'm trying to get him to do. So his pass accuracy, he needs to improve. Um, heading is not a strength of his either because as, as we know, he is you know, um, not, not very tall. So, so 
that would be. So he, he has a weakness in the air as well. So uh, what would I, his, his weakness is maybe sometimes he lacks a bit of patience, but that's not in any way um, a, de a major detractor. It just shows his enthusiasm and his eagerness to get it right and to make a positive contribution. Well, my only weakness right now for football is my ability to relax in the game. Sometimes I get a bit too tense, I want to release the ball too easily and I think that is something that I really, really want to work on. Okay, currently I'm living with my mother, my father, and my two sisters. We sometimes call it the Jackson Five because of our, our closeness and our togetherness. Um, I always have the support for my parents. They always, you know, encourage me to push myself to the limit and to always strive for excellence. And I always want to try to make my family proud. Well, basically on a Sunday, we, we get together. We, we go to church in the morning. And after church, we normally have a get-together where we would eat Sunday lunch, we have a laughter, you know, we enjoy ourselves, we talk about the week, and we, we just sit and we just have a family time where we can just have a little fun and reflect on the past. As I indicated, I, I noticed as an individual, Andy possesses certain values. Uh, because of that, I actually asked Andy to come and work with me yeah, in my law office as an attendant. And it's the same... <laughs> same discipline and level of skill and focus that he has brought to bear in performing his duties on a day-to-day -day basis. He's also a very focused and, and dedicated uh, Christian who works with young people um, in the church and I've gathered that he's also extremely enthusiastic, enthusiastic about information technology and uh, camera work and photography, etc. So, uh, uh, a youngster with a tremendous amount of uh, potential, both as a footballer and as an individual. I think that he has very far to go in life if he continues with that attitude. This is something that I really want to do as well, other than playing soccer, is to go and for the studies in, in business, sales and marketing. And this is something that I really want to pursue. Well, Andy is, um, is extremely motivated to further his studies and he sees the avenue of playing football as essentially tying, you know, it's a, it's a compliment, it's a, it complements each other. Um, I think that Andy has a tremendous amount of positive attributes to bring to uh, a football setup in a school while still remaining focused on his schoolwork. I think he'll be a tremendous asset. Um, in the same way, I think he has a tremendous potential for growth himself and he will be a joy and a pleasure for any coach to work with. When you go to the higher level, you want players that you can carry out instruction. He has a very solid foundation because I was, I'm familiar with him from, from youth. And so he has that foundation and, and, and discipline has, has come with that. Um, so he's coachable. Um, and he's a team player. He would always want to do things for the team and, and he, would, he would carry out instructions for the better of the team. So, I mean, when you have those qualities, it's easy to integrate personalities like that into, into a system. You understand? So it's good for, for the team and, um, and, and the discipline would, would help to, you know, mean that he would he's coachable and, and take you to the other level. Okay, so for any of the coaches that is viewing this video, the reason why I think that I will be of a great asset for your franchise, your club, and also for the college is because of my leadership skills and my ability on the football field, my fitness, 
and my ability to communicate with my teammates, also my academic ability as well. I'm a person who will always sit down and make sure that I get things done on time and I always make sure that I do my very best and put my best foot forward. Thank you.